All right, so secant of negative 150 degrees. So to do that, ladies and gentlemen, the main important thing is you need to understand what the value is, right? Now, we know that halfway around the circle is 180, right? So 150 degrees is probably going to look something like this, where the reference angle would be 30 degrees, correct? Right? That is positive 150 degrees. So if you're going in the negative direction, that is where your angle would be, right? And the reference angle would be, again, what? 30 degrees, OK? Um, now, there's a couple things we need to understand here. Now, if the reference angle is 30 degrees, that's really important because obviously you guys can look at your unit circle and determine where that angle would be. But for me, what I notice is since the reference angle is 30 degrees, I'm going to look at the angle in the first quadrant at 30 degrees. And the angle in the first quadrant at 30 degrees is square root of 3 over 2 comma 1 half. Would everybody agree with me? Yes. So when I look at the, I visualize this, I see that 150 degrees is just a reflection about the y-axis. So that's negative square root of 3 over 2 comma 1 half. And then this negative 150 is just a reflection about the y and a reflection about the x. So the coordinate point is exactly the same. right? This is why I'm giving you guys a unit circle, so you guys can start seeing these connections so you don't feel like you have to always have the unit circle right in front of you. So this angle is negative square root of 3 over 2, comma, negative 1 half. Does so everybody agree with me? OK. Now it's asking you to find secant. So I'm going to erase this, if that's OK. Remember, cosecant of any angle is equal to x. So secant of any angle is equal to 1 over x. So the x coordinate in this case is um, negative 1 square root of 3 over 2. So I do 1 over negative square root of 3 over 2. Well, how do you simplify these? You um, multiply by the reciprocal. That multiplies out. You're left with a negative 2 over the square root of 3. Well, we always rationalize the denominator, right? Square root of 3 over square root of 3. My final answer is negative 2 square root of 3 over 3. Correct? Yes? OK. 